from Kumasi in the Ashanti region with high hopes and zeal to begin his teaching profession at his first station, Utekbelu, four years ago. However, setting foot on the school's compound was a put off. His heart sank and hopes dashed. Nothing motivating or inspiring enough to work. But then, he took it a day at a time, teaching, and it's been four years now, and still counting. <laughs> Windowless classrooms with deep cracks, leakages in the roofs, coupled with constant threats from reptiles, are just bits of the struggles teachers and students of the Utekbalu Roman Catholic Primary School contend with. Established by two Roman Catholic missionaries, Reverend Father Tit and Reverend Father Washington in 1938 to nurture children in the community in Western education, the school is yet to taste any good thing. Ever since I came, uh, I have not seen any renovation work over there. So I cannot tell exactly why it's in this stage. As you can see, all over the uh, building, we have cracks in the building. And the cracks over there, and then the entire building itself is a death trap. Because when you look at the upper primary and then the lower primary, for instance, the lower primary is hanging. The condition of the school deters most teachers from accepting postings to the school. And that is the case of the class four, without a teacher. The teachers on hand try to manage the situation by shuffling between the classes. However, on the day of my visit, the class four pupils had no teacher's presence and resorted to their notes from morning till the end of the school day. So, Master, you, you have been writing their names. From Kumasi to this place, almost like five hours drive. We were done, I have to pick a car to this place. When I got to this place, to be frank, looking at the position over here, where I was somehow worried. This time, we have two teachers, but after bringing or submitting the letter to the headmaster, it didn't come again. It's very difficult at this time, when we are, when we are in the rain season, that's where the problem started. Because the roofs, the roofing sheet are not good. So when it's raining, you have to stop everything. Help the kids to pack their places to a place that maybe they can sit for a while. With no textbooks for students to study with, teachers had to procure their own textbooks on the market to keep students up with the times. Textbooks that we bought it from the market, and that is what the teachers are using for now. But for the learners, they don't have any textbooks. For instance, if you want to do reading uh, for every child to read, or as you read, they look through it and then they, they identify a new words and that one no. Uh, so we don't have textbook in the school. In a world today where challenges answer to technology, ICT is an indispensable tool to the students to be critical thinkers, problem solvers, enhance research and explore. An even distribution of resources and lack of equity means students of this school cannot benefit enough from ICT. There are no computers and the subject is taught with a teacher's personal laptop. For personal life. Go down. The last one is their personal life. Thank you. You click on it. The teams has appeared for you, so you look through the one that you prefer, then you choose. You click on it, then you are done. The, you click, the menu appears. The second one says what? So you look for personalized. That is the last. So Kobe has done it. A Get Fan project anticipated to ease the pressure and accommodate the teachers and students of the Otekbalu RC Primary styled in 2012. Our school is a death trap and we don't want to uh, experience any, anything like disaster 
in our school here. So I will plead that government should come to our aid and then to complete the building for us. Now, to NGOs and other donors, I know you have been doing it elsewhere. So please come to our aid and then uh, help to raise a uh, standard of uh, teaching in the school here by providing us with um, teaching facilities that will enhance uh, uh, the teachers in this school to do effective work. Leaving the school, my team and I had grave thoughts and concern for the future of these students, having to compete with their colleagues in other schools in the capital with better facilities and the disparities in the country's education system. For GBC News, Clara Mlano reporting.